about to key a Tesla. Mean-spirited acts of vandalism are happening across the USA to Tesla owners, and they're all caught on security cameras, which are equipped on Teslas. Total damage, $100. Once is not enough for this woman who keys a Tesla twice. This granny repeatedly keys a car in a parking lot in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Getting it repaired won't be cheap, says owner Amanda Abbott. Right now, the estimate is at $7,650. And look at this random attack. I was speechless, and then anger came in, and I just couldn't believe someone did this on purpose. What's at the heart of this kind of vandalism? I think it's the presumption of Tesla owners being rich or snobby, goes one social media comment. It's not just keying, this guy rams a shopping cart into a Tesla. This driver swerves at full speed, aiming for the Tesla. And this motorcyclist yanks off a Tesla mirror. Vlad Fayer, owner of Brooklyn Motors, which specializes in Teslas, says those security cameras are a huge help in tracking down the vandals. So you have a camera on each fender right here and right here, which will record this side of the car. Um, you have a camera in the rear that's going to record everything in the back. And you have a camera in the windshield that's going to get the whole front view. What's up, YouTube? This is like mid-video. Let me know y'all thoughts down uh, below. Like, tell me what y'all think about this. I already know you might be heated. You might be like, what is the point? That's how I feel right about now. Why is y'all scratching up other people's cars? Who cares if it's a Tesla, Honda, Chevy, Dodge? Who cares? Why are you vandalizing somebody else's property? Who cares if you stereotype them uh, being rich or snobby? Uh, average person can own a Tesla, honestly. Anybody can own a Tesla. I mean, an average person can own a Tesla and can look rich, honestly. Or that's just like uh, the average guy can own uh some type of high value car and all of a sudden oh this guy got tons and tons and tons of money i mean he possibly do but don't let him don't let him trick you out your uh, shoes and all but have respect for other people's property um i'm pretty sure if that happened to you you would have been like what the hell especially having to spend about what 1600 just for two small scratches um for a Tesla, I'm pretty sure the paint is pretty expensive for the uh, car, but it's pretty good that they have that type of uh, security system to see who done what so they can pay for what they have done. And people need to learn how to just have respect. I mean, I got three cars, if, if God forbid for anything to happen to them, like I would be feeling some type of way, you know, after putting my uh, time, heart, and energy into you know these cars and stuff. Like it's going to, it's going to uh, hit you at some uh, point, of, uh, some point in time. But sometimes you just got to move on with life. I mean, you can't take cars, money, or anything with you. So you best believe got to enjoy it while you have it right about now. And who cares what a person got? Let them enjoy what they have. Let them be happy. Do not destroy their happiness off your stubbornness, pride, or just stuck up ways. And when I say that, like somebody got a small behind beat up Honda or something and they adding modifications and all this to it and they happy and then people over here talking mad junk about it. Don't be them people, man. Let that person be happy for what they have and let them enjoy it. Honestly, times out of 10, if that Honda were to get trash fired by them people who've been talking crap, haters and all that, imagine how that person would feel, man. That would destroy a person, possibly, depending how strong they are, but still, it can hurt a person. But moral of the story is, man, do not, do not destroy other people, um, peace of mind, property or anything. Like I say, you can't take it with you, but while the person here and stuff, be very mindful of what, you know, they put their time and effort up to. Um, like, that's very great with Teslas. Um, I've been around Tesla and stuff, pretty cool cars. Um, not too uh, fashionate about it, like how other people may be due to like zero emission. Or oh, it's a cool car because, you know, it's trending or 
uh, you know, or anything in nature, but Tesla have been kind of declining too, like with interior, uh, fires, you know, battery um, issues. Uh, you know how the, them cars can be when something very techy and you can't like actually pinpoint and stuff, man, it can be, it can be a headache. Ever guys, I did forgot one thing. Tesla, the technology is crazy. Like they got five star home security on the car compared to any other car brand. I don't know any other cars that have cameras on there except for Tesla, which is pretty cool. Y'all let me know if any other uh, car brand got top security. Well, you know how Dodge is, like how the cars are like priced up and marked up uh, now. Uh, the security system is just one star and it's just trash. Like you can easily get in here if you really wanted to. People can easily vandalize your car. Um, people can take it. I mean, Tesla, they are ahead. You know, I will say with the technology, Tesla is basically Apple of like, you know, the, the, uh, the, cell, uh, the cell phone brand, technology brand for, you know, the, the phones and all that, tablets and all that. So in uh, the car world, if that makes any sense. I don't know any other brand but Tesla. Um, but I'm probably not uh, continuing to do uh, research uh, more and more uh, on that note. But anyway, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, more of the story is don't vandalize other people's uh, cars. And that's why I'm just continue saying this whole video. Um, and I, if y'all stay here like where this is at, because I'm just editing, I want to add this little clip in. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the support. And uh, yeah, y'all be safe out there. Enjoy the video. Anyway, guys, I'm glad when people actually got caught in 4K. That like makes me uh, feel pretty good. Like I said, when I see a Tesla owner or a Tesla, like I don't be like, like, ah. That's like with, that could be with any car to be honest. Like it's pretty cool to see a car. Um, it's, It just depends on how infatuated you are with it. But don't destroy other people's property and don't be like these people or these clowns uh doing that because they feel some type of way about a tesla it's just a car everybody is entitled to their own opinion about a car i don't understand why folks get in such a pit fight over something small but that's how it is nowadays and stuff um that's just how it is man i'm just you know throwing life things like if anything would have happened to <clears throat> my car and it got like stolen which it probably won't it won't happen because I have uh trackers and all that i i would i would feel some type of way actually i will feel some type of way and especially having what the drop right what 16 on a damn paint job just for uh two little scratches again Come on, man. Or oh, window breaking. Like, oh my gosh. Y'all just don't know. Just be mindful for people. And build while you can. And uh, drive while you can. If y'all want to see more videos like this, you will. Because I'm going to just drop it in the variety. Um, I am in the turbo truck, so I might end up trying to do something on here today so we can get it what we need to get it at. Uh, just waiting on some things um, to come in so we can proceed. But other than that, I'm really thankful for everything or what I have. Honestly. So I hope y'all have a good one, man. I think that's just all I had to say, to be honest. I'm gonna just step out real quick. I think that's all I had to say. Nothing too crazy. Oh, not too snobby. Be mindful of the people properly. That's all I had to say. See y'all, man. Peace.